right, what's up everybody? Another day, another home tour. So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I actually have a client that's actually very interested uh, in this property. Well, I think this is probably the property for him. Anyway, uh, we are located here in uh, the city of Henderson in a mass plan community called uh, Seven Hills. This is uh, one of the most exclusive uh, neighborhoods up here in Henderson. And this is a guard gated community. Just gotta go just right through this uh, cul-de-sac here. And uh, some of the views here are very gorgeous. So uh, this property right here actually sits on a ridge line, also a golf course too as well. Uh, let me give you a little bit more details about this property. Give me just a second here. I actually lost the information. Also, I want to give a, a quick shout out to the uh, Boaklet Brothers. Uh, this is their listing and also their property that they are selling. Now, this property right here features a couple of things. It features a single story that is 1,000, I'm sorry, 4,187 square feet. And it actually sits on a lot size of 16,117 square feet, four bedrooms, total five baths with a three car garage. As you can see, it is a single story home. The curb appeal is completely done. What I like about this neighborhood, you do have some custom light poles and also uh, the mailbox too as well. As you can see, we got the uh, stamped concrete. So they really did a really good job of rehabbing uh, this home. Looks like they painted the exterior. They did the glass three car garage here. Now coming through here, let's take a look at this beautiful courtyard. It's such a great job to this home. The finishings on here are really unbelievable. You have this nice little courtyard. A very large pivot door here. All right, let's just take you straight in. So we got the LVP. You got the beautiful coffered ceilings the asking price on here is uh, three million one hundred twenty five thousand now this thing actually has all the bells and whistles they spent a lot of time on this home you can just tell a couple things that I've noticed just right off the get-go okay as I come back in um, masters on this side I got to show this master this thing is just gorgeous Bathroom is completely unbelievable. Okay, first thing I notice as soon as I come in, okay, you see this black frame window here all the way around? This was actually added with this slider. So they actually had to redo the header, take out these windows, right? And it was just probably a 12 foot slide, but this is actually a good idea to open up this window. Also, we got this side window that allows us to take a look at the strip as well. We got a nice linear fireplace here. As you can see, we do have the cladding and the seam is down the center. So it allows you to give that book match. And this one looks like a level five finishing on here, or this is actually a Santa Fe. Let's take a look here. This is a uh, more of a Santa Fe type of texture. Okay. You got some bull nose. Also, they cladded the uh, ceilings with LVP, which is a pretty good idea. I like how they did that. Added some additional lighting. We got 10 foot ceilings, 12 foot ceilings over here. Love the way that they added the uh, natural cabinets as well. We got some lighting. Cool. You know, we're going to get straight into the, uh, the bedroom here. Also, I just wanted to show you here real quick as well. On this side right here is also a office. So you would have to get in through this way or we can get into the primary. Well, let's take a look how gorgeous this primary is. So as you can see, we have a nice large pivot door, solid door. They redid this frame here and added this 12 foot slide. All right, let's take a look at this. Okay, so looks like the headboard is permanently placed with this nice glass here. 
it's kind of got a, a copper tone to it, which is really nice. You do got these little Wisconsin lights and the floating shelves. Oh, we're missing a grill. Uh, that's the easy fix, though. Now, this room is pretty large, so if you guys want the uh, dimensions of the rooms and stuff like that, I do have a link in the description below, so go ahead and click that link. I'll give you the full details about this property. If you're looking for the score footage, uh, bedrooms, bathrooms, all that good stuff, HOAs, I have all that on there. Oh, wow, I thought this was actually wallpaper, but this has been cladded with... What is this thing? Oh, you know what? I thought this was a type of stone, but... Wow, this is pretty dope. So basically, this is some sort of... I don't know if it's like thin. This is like mud. It's on here. They did a really good job. I don't even know what this is called. Let me know in the comments below. But it looks like they pretty much sanded it very smooth, threw some texture into it, added some color, and it almost looks like a part of the, the stonework here. I mean, they did a really good job. I mean, can't complain at all. Also, they upgraded with the, uh, the lighting as well. Typically, these can be connected to your phone. As you can see, you can already set it. If you want it dimmed, you come in, you push it one time, on and off, okay? Then you have your different settings here. And you should be able to program it to your phone. However, I wanna show you this bathroom. But before we go to the bathroom here, we have our closet. So this looks like the original cabinets, it looks like. For all your shoes, okay? So we got two walk-in closets. Not bad. Now the uh, tile here looks like we have what? 36 by 48 tile, which is very nice. I mean, take a look how gorgeous this bathroom is. Great concept, great idea. It looks like they just ripped everything out, created this wall right here. Came in, added this glass. Two showers, love that. This is one uh, piece of stone. And I love how they have all this right here. So that way you can get that extra lip to have like, you know, your soaps and all that stuff right here. But it's still hidden behind because you don't have a soap box here, which wouldn't make sense by putting a soap box here, but then you would have this here. And I love how they just teed this off right here. This is just a great concept. Because now this becomes a focal point, a piece of art, right? Look at that. That's artwork right there, baby. LED light underneath. Hard surface countertop. And I love how they just created this sink right here. LED uh, backlit mirror, full frame as well. And again, this is where they did the texture. I don't know, this is like almost like wallpaper, but it's like they painted it, sand, it's like, that's pretty dope actually. Same thing with this side. So this must be hers. This large mirror just looks so cool. Looks dramatic. So here's your toilet. Extra space there. Now this is very unique. I felt like this originally was a toilet and they took that drain line and they added a combo washer and dryer here. So this is wash and also dries too as well. But honestly, I would have preferred just to have a his and hers toilet. 
but then possibly on the back side of here, or one of the sides, maybe here add a washer and dryer on that side, or put it on this back side. That's probably what I, what I would have done. Now this one's a little bit unique because then we have this door that takes us through here. And this door actually shuts off, okay? But now this acts like a, another room or a guest room. So on this one, they made this as an office. So it looks like you get up, take a shower and come straight to your office. You shut that door and this is where clients would come, I guess. However, honestly, I would probably prefer just to cap this off, block this off, right? So that way, number one, I could utilize this extra wall here. That's probably what I would have done, but it's not a big deal. It's just my thoughts. Here's the bathroom. Nice herringbone. I love these uh, glass sliding doors here. These things right here are so pricey. They are not cheap. But look how smooth that thing just rolls. It just glides. Get all this cladding here. Oh, this is very unique. They moved the supply line right into the mirror here, which is kind of cool. Typically that's right above, but I like that. It's different. I'm just gonna turn off the lights while we're here. This is just nice for you have your guests. Just come here, stay here, and they never have to bother you. Again, if you guys want the measurements uh, for this room, Go ahead and click on that link in the uh, description. Also, if you guys want a list of uh, bank-owned properties or some standing inventory uh, properties, uh, go ahead and click on the link in the description. Just turn off all these lights as we go along. We're just hanging out today. Bedroom is gorgeous. I mean, just imagine just waking up to this every single day. Multi million dollar homes. Right, let's turn up these lights here. So many lights, I don't even know what to turn off. Here we go. Boom, boom. Now, these do take a second to turn off, though. So it's like, let me show you. See how it's just. The LED light starts to drop. See that? That's how that works there. So this is all turned off. Love how large this kitchen is. I mean, this is a piece of artwork, folks. First, we have a island here. This is probably a five by nine on this island. You got a four inch front face with the over waterfall, which is really nice. What do we have here? It's kind of like our storage. I got some cookies there, okay. storage right here too. A little bit unique. We got this center island, soft closing cabinets. Man, they're just hitting LED lights all over this thing. Look at that. You got cafe appliances. Beautiful undermounted sink. This island's a lot longer. This is probably a 10 foot island. This is a five by 10 or five by 12 it looks like. Don't 
dovetail soft closing cabinets. Love these shelves again with the LED lights. I mean, they just did such a great job. And I love the color tones. You got the natural wood colors and we got the dark for the modern with the white really all blends in. I mean, this is just a showpiece of a house. I mean, if I had 3.1 million, I'd throw down on this like it's nothing. You got some pot drawers too as well. This window was added in. It's accordion uh, doors. That just opens, now it becomes a bar. It's pretty cool. We'll go out inside in just a second. It's down this way here. So they added the Wisconsin lighting here. Here's your laundry room. Love the uh, LED lights. Lighting is such a big deal. Wow, look at this. Double tray with some crown. Four can lighting. I love how this room has a slider to this little courtyard area, which is really nice. Here's your room or walk-in closet. Again, all the LED lights, I mean, mirrors, large mirrors, I mean, makes it very dramatic. Delta fixtures, beautiful soap box. In fact, you know, I'm just gonna turn off these lights real quick because I probably won't come back in here. Here we have the guests. Same, we floated this uh, vanity. And they, they put some work into this. No joke. It's the original door. But these doors are solid though. Here's that uh, courtyard. Here's another room. Wow, this room is large. It's a whole another primary. Clad in the same thing. Let me tighten this thing up a little bit. Okay. Closet. Not bad. This is the original closet. It's getting a little bit darker now. A lot quicker. What time is it right now? It's uh, 6 15. About to get sunset. I love how they upgraded these garage doors here. It just opens everything up. It really does. Original cabinet. That takes you off to the side. Three car garage. All right, let's go look at this beautiful backyard. Because that's what this is really about. I'm telling you guys, this is the type of lifestyle that everybody needs to be living. Damn, they recladded the whole pool and everything. This is gorgeous. Look at that. This is off the primary. Oh, great idea to 
color block that right above. This thing is gonna sell fast, I already know it. We've got two brand new air conditioning units. They did synthetic grass all the way through. They kept all this clean. You've got the lights, the landscaping. I like how they did the grass around the palm trees. They cladded all this, modern lighting as well. Beautiful golf course. Woo! Now this is the life, folks. Wait, not one, but two jacuzzis? Huh. We got the barbecue area. So here's the section where you can serve all your guests. Another AC unit. Side access from the garage or from the back. Play a little putt putt here and a putt putt there. Wow, now this is the life, folks. It really is. Here we have one, two, three, three linear waterfall features here. All right, guys, that's uh, pretty much it for this uh, video home tour. If you guys have not had a chance to subscribe to this channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Other than that, I wish you guys nothing but the best and be blessed, folks. If you guys want to check out all our video home tours, we have over 1,800 video home tours. Just go ahead and click on this video right here. If you guys are in the market and you want to purchase a home and want to get started, visit lvhomeexperts.com. Scan this QR code right now. Also, if you guys just love real estate and want to get into real estate, go ahead and subscribe to our second channel. Until next time, peace.